Hello everybody, welcome back to another coloring game, Little City. It's been a while since I did one of these. The last one was pretty big. I'm kind of afraid to see how many, how many of these have. Wait, what are the... Oh. I thought we were done after 15. Um, nope. <laughs> so much more all right <gasps> oh my god this one is big well can't wait gotta hop in jesus this one is huge but does it make us scared kinda kinda am a little bit scared but you know what let's just hop in we got a lot to talk about a lot of happened since last time I played one of these, um, the most important and huge thing, I mean, let's just get the elephant out of the way that's in the room. The elephant, the big elephant that's in the room, let's get it out of the way. My Discord is gone. It has been for quite a while now. Because, most of you already know, we, I have joined forces with uh, Angie, the lovely Lady Angie. And my good pal Nayuki. And we have created a Discord together. The whole reason for that was um, like 80% of the people that were in my Discord were also in theirs. And we were like, you know what? What if we combine it all? We have named it the NAP. Nayuki and Jipufi. And it's an awesome Discord. It is so alarm. We got a few new members after the the how do you call it again? The 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 melt melting together. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Colors. I need to focus on colors. Um, yeah, but I mean, we we are doing that weekly thing. It's nap time where we play um, games, indie games from itch.io and. Uh, we mostly do it to support the indie game developers. It's kind of like what I did with LP University before, uh, though that didn't grow as big as what its snap time is going to be right now. Also, the big difference is that with LP University, we had the LP University challenge. There were a handful of people from the LP University discord and you're all like what are you talking about poofy discord lp university it's it has nothing to do with the Pufarians. Uh, that is correct i was the owner of lp university before my channel was even called uh, the grand Pufarian. it was still called poofy gaming and i crafted a discord along with someone no we were oh man this is gonna be a big story hold on tight Hold on to your testicles, as we uh, we used to say. First of all, years ago, first of all, years ago, like in the beginning of time, and then there was light. Uh, around that era, I was part of a forum, like a good old classic forum. I just started my channel. It was the end of 2016 and I wanted to see if if there was a place where I could learn stuff about let's play I knew nothing I knew a bit of video editing and I just had uh, some experience in video games itself like an entire childhood and whatnot but I was looking for a spot that also had different Let's Players. Little did I know back at that time that the whole Let's Play community was overly saturated and mostly, uh, mind you, mostly filled with narcissistic assholes. So I dove right in. I found a forum, I believe it was called the LP Sanctuary. Not sure if it still exists. I can hear a couple of you guys saying, Oh, the sanctuary, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Probably, I don't know if it still exists. Anyways, oh, 
there we go. That's the first failure. I became part of that forum and they had like a whole let's play section with where you could ask for advice and stuff. I am going to tell you a very long story. This, this has nothing but everything to do with LP University. Um, as I was saying, forum and they had like threads going on where you could ask for advice there are also some threads where um where you had i don't want to zoom in buddy my man please go back to where you were oh this is this is always pretty okay never mind I am completely, I completely lost my train of thought. Forum, advice, anyway, they, oh, there also was a thread where you could post your videos. As in, it became a quick spam fest. They had like, hey, you can open up one topic for your video, for your series. And every time you had to add another comment, if you had another episode. So that way they kind of kept it clean. So the entire place was not filled with loose videos like they do on Reddit. It was just, hey, you have one thread for your series and you can post your other episodes in there as well. Then, since I was uh, uh, becoming a little bit active there, there were a few others that just started out at the same time. And they were like, hey, we got this thing called a Discord server. And um, if you want to, you can join in. You're going to be a founder. And I'm like, hey, is it similar to what we're doing here? Like people helping out and stuff. And they were like, yeah, yeah, we're going to share experiences and everything that has to do with Let's Play. So if you learn something, it would be awesome if you share the knowledge and we would do the same. And I was like, hey, you know what? This sounds very great. Let's do it. So I became a founding member of a Discord server. Uh, I wasn't the owner. I wasn't an admin. I was just a founding member. I'm not going to call out the name of the Discord uh, because I'm going to explain that that Discord became toxic real quickly. I mean, within a year, there were a couple of people um, basically thinking they owned the place and um, it had nothing to do with what was told to me there were no basically it was a huge sub for sub thing you scratch my back I scratch yours you're amazing because you watch my videos and you suck because you don't basically that's that's how it was so after I think a year, maybe a year and a half. I uh, I left the Discord because uh, it literally made me made me sick. Uh, the people in there, they are were well, not all of them. There were, I mean, there were just a handful of of rotten members that that basically ruined it for everyone else and. Uh, before I left, a couple of months, it started where people were actually starting to leave. And they were, I mean, you guys know me, I'm I'm not the one that sugarcoats. So I'm like, I told whenever something felt wrong to me. I didn't attack anyone personally. I never did. I never will. But I opened up things for discussion, like asking the right questions. Uh, even to the founders, like, what, what what the hell is going on? What do you want to do with this? It's not going the right way, <laughs> in my opinion. Do with it what you want. So, yeah, like I said, a couple of months before I left, the, the thing started leaking. Like, a lot of the founders started leaving. Some even didn't even say why, but we all knew what the hell was going on. The place got really toxic and I made my decision 
to leave too. Uh, I I did a little psychological test because everybody said, hey, you matter, you're a founder. I was there every day. Somehow I need to get this off my chest, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I was there every day and I decided not to post anything and see what would happen. That was something that I had to do. I was like, if if they want me here, they would, after a day, probably um, ask where I was. And and mind you, I'm not saying this to brag, but I was one of five people that would actually keep the chat going. So I was like, this is going to be fun. I'm going to disappear without telling everyone. And let's see. It literally took him three months to ask, where's Poofy? Three months. That's how important you were in that uh, little Discord thing. Anyways, uh, sour taste aside, I decided to leave along with other people. And one of them, and now here's the connection to LP University, we decided to start our own Discord. Um, basically, we wanted it to be quite similar as in, hey, it needs to be a place where where we can hang out. So quite similar to, to the toxic place I, I left, um, but without the toxic waste. We would all respect each other. There would be a lot of LP stuff and... Um, we were struggling to find members. We had a handful, uh, but they were basically, they, they jumped ship. They went from the old Discord and they, they came along with us. And slowly it, it didn't, I, I was about to say it, it started dying, but it wasn't even alive. And then the other founder suddenly left without a trace. I still don't know why he just, one day or the other, he handed me over the ownership of the Discord. Um, he removed me from all the social media. He blocked me even. I still do not know why. But then I decided to make LP University. So hey, here we are, finally. Jesus, Poofy, you and your long stories, your sad past, your experiences with hellish behavior. Um, but no, I wanted something to be made for the Let's Players. Streamers were not allowed. In that time, everybody was jumping ship from, from YouTube to uh, to Twitch because, hey, Adpocalypse, you cannot get rich. Well, look at them now. They all quit streaming on Twitch either. Uh, but I, I didn't want, because at that time, a lot of the toxicity came from streamers or I, I will not say streamers in general uh the people that jumped from youtube to to twitch because they thought they could earn easy money there those kind of people and so streamers were sadly not allowed because i wanted it to be i mean i was a let's player i i did not feel welcome anywhere because you had to stream or else you, you didn't belong. Um, so I made a spot called LP University, Let's Play University, where basically, why the university? It wasn't a place to hang out. It was a place to share knowledge. I had learned a lot about Let's Playing, audio balancing, uh, thumbnailing, because hey, hello, I'm a designer myself. Um, certain ways of editing uh, and, and whatnot. So I wanted to share that with people, with other Let's Players that would also love to share their knowledge. So I set up LP University. I met a couple of awesome people there who also shared their knowledge and wisdom with everyone. So basically we were a small little club. I think we never get past the 12 members, but still we were a small level club that 
loved doing what they were doing. They, they loved making videos about games that they love to play and basically respect each other. That's also where I met Angie. And um, basically we had a thing, LP University Challenge, and here's the, the point of the deal <laughs> where, I'm, uh, where I'm going to, where I'm sailing to. We went on itch.io, found free games. I, I made a list, um, but there were games that had high scores. So what we did was we had a weekly challenge where we would all play the game. You could you could play it like uh, you had three attempts or something. And then we all upload the game, the video at the same time. And then we could see who had the highest score because nobody knew from everyone else who had the highest score because it didn't, it got released at the same time. And we tried to also um, get non-members playing it. I mean, we said like, hey, you want to play along? Go play the game it's there we all share the link and you can you know what you can just post your image on twitter or whatever so we could see that didn't really it didn't really do what we hoped it did there were a handful of people loyally playing along we made a few videos it was very fun to do um, but what it snap time is doing right now is unbelievable there's I, th I think every week there's someone asking can i join can i do this too and very recently nayuki who also basically thought of the idea of it snap time he came up with an awesome idea to let even the people who do not have the itch.io racial injustice and just injustice bundle um, because it's not available anymore the people that don't have it can join too and i'm not going to explain how in this video for that i need you to go to our uh, discord the nap the link is in the description yes this is a a blatant plug to to the discord uh but yeah he came up with an awesome idea where everyone can join and a lot of people are joining he uh he recently had another another member another napper asking him to join and and she is joining right now she's she's gonna make a video very soon i mean we release them every sunday at 4 p.m est cest gmt plus one i don't know man it's paris time that one um but yeah there's i think there's five people now doing it and more people watching it <laughs> i mean it's quite big everybody's very enthusiastic about it me too i i look forward to sunday so we can we can watch the the videos usually what i do is i watch them in tandem i go into our voice channel in the discord and we count down and then we watch a video so we can all live reply to what we're seeing. So we also have some social connection going on. But man, the nap as it is, the Discord, it's uh, you want you want to be part of it. I I can't say anything else. You want to be part of it, and you can because it's free to join for everyone. There's only one thing you have to do, and that is like this video, leave a comment. I mean, go to the description and uh, basically click the link and join. I mean, why not? What do you got? What do you, what do you have to lose? 
Hey, eh? mi amigo or amiga. What do you have? My God, I, I lost that there. That's that's something I lost. Thank you. This image is amazing, but it's also very big. I might have to start using the paint bucket. I know, I know it's cursing. It's cursing in the church. But, I mean, have you seen the amount of pixels that we have to paint in? <sighs> and, and also, it's not helping that I keep on making these mistakes. But I make these mistakes as they are. I'm also not looking forward to editing this video because it's going to be freaking long. Last one was over half an hour, I guess. This one will be even longer. Next time, you know, you're going to be watching me paint, paint by numbers uh, for an hour long. Only so you can hear me talk about, I don't know, nonsense. Talked about a lot of things. Talked about my grandmother. Talked about my, uh, my my eating things. How I eat. And now we talked about the Discord that I'm pretty proud of. Run together with Nayuki and uh, and Angie. I'm sorry, Ang Angiem, Angiem, Angiem. Our lovely Polish princess. Also, you guys need to check out their channels. I do that not enough. I I need to plug uh, the Discord more. I also need to plug my friendos more. I mean, I, I am plugging them on Twitter. If you're following me on Twitter, you will know. Because I don't post a lot of things. I just post my videos nowadays. Sometimes a very insane remark. Because I have... Um, things that need to get out of my brains, but I also retweet the videos of um, some of the neppers if I can catch him. If I don't, I am sorry that I missed. But yeah, it's sadly it's how it is. I'm I'm not a machine. Resistance is futile. I am a machine. Was wasn't it the thing? Was there anything from Terminator? Terminator. Not even sure which one. The, the third one? Probably the third one. With uh, the TX. Was it the TX? The, the female Terminator? Probably was. I mean, what's wrong with T800 and T1000? And suddenly they had a Team X. Team? A TX. Also a Team. I see a Lone 5 down there. Don't worry, I'm going to get it after these 19s. There. And the 5. Garedo. We're not even half... Well, we are kind of halfway. Is, is there a percentage meter there should be a percentage meter somewhere uh pretty sure there was one wow we still need a lot of these but yeah what was i saying i mean i said a lot of things but right before this i don't know oh halfway through it kind of looks like we're almost halfway through. That, that's what I was about to say. It was like, hey, we're not halfway through, but kind of seems like we, we almost are. Which is a good thing. Because, as you can see, I'm focusing really hard and <laughs> I don't know what to say. Don't worry, I always know what to say. It comes out as like poop. It just, it's there. 
it's there. We should be halfway, right? Or at least more than halfway through. There's some ones. Gorgeous. Anyways, I thought I could fill the episode with talking about the nap and the discords I uh, I was part of before and then talking about it's nap time which is the weekly uh, episodic thing but apparently I was wrong I was very wrong and I cannot talk about stuff that's going on I mean I can talk about corona but hey, what 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 haven't we heard about Corona? What what has not been said about Corona? It's still quarantine time. It's gonna be quarantine time for quite some while. And I know, I know, I know. I can hear you say, "Hey, it's not quarantine. You can go outside." Well, yes, you can, but. It's like, can, can we get, can we get a pandemic? Uh, you just had one. Yes, we know. But what about the second pandemic? The second wave is, is here basically. And I face bomb extremely hard because the moment they said they, they would loosen up the rules. I was shaking my head so hard. Um, it's like people people basically said, well, there's two reasons. There's one, the economic reason, which I completely understand, because if you don't do it, everything gets, gets you know, shut down. But hey, hey, it's a deadly pandemic. So, yeah, I do know, I do realize that there's a, a, an economic reason there. But then you yeah, have, like... The it seems like people are, hey, Corona, oh, well, the novelty wears off, I'm bored now. And then they just do what the fuck they used to do. Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the party. Let's, I don't know why. I don't understand. And their response, yeah, well, you know, I'm healthy. If I get it, it will probably not be that bad. It's not about you, dumbass. If you are a carrier and you infect me and I infect my daughter, there's a high chance that she will die. And I know this suddenly turned dark. You don't do it for you. You do it for the people that cannot fight it themselves. And that pisses me off. That some people simply say, I don't feel like it. Well, if you don't feel like it now, would you feel like it when you know, you, you bury your grandparents or your parents. Would would that be the correct time for you to feel like it? I'm not talking about you lying in the hospital with a tube sticking in your throat. I'm talking about you lowering your family members into the ground. Is that a great? Is that a better time for you? Because we can discuss this right now. It's stupid if you don't follow the rules it has nothing to do with rights it has nothing to do with politics and even though in 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 my country it isn't really that bad but in my opinion if there's if there's one percent not listening it's it's like having a boat we're all in a boat but the hull has some holes in it 
and one person refuses to plug the hole because he doesn't feel like it guess what the entire boat is gonna sink simply because you didn't want to put your finger into the hole simply because you didn't feel like it the entire boat sinks and i think that's stupid so yeah that was a nice topic to talk about my god why why did you guys let me talk about that hey you know what we can do we can actually we can actually make two videos out of this <laughs> should i i don't know how long we've already been uh, been painting by the way I have no timer set. I think I'm gonna finish this. It's uh, we're doing very well. I don't think we have a lot a lot more to do. We're definitely halfway through. I just wanted to. I mean, it's been a long time since I did one of these paintings, or can I call it paintings, art pieces? simply because i am a little bit afraid right now they are getting so big <laughs> they're getting so big that i'm not looking forward to recording um, these once i am i mean i am looking forward to recording these because i freaking love doing this but at the same time the episodes will be so long. I'm not even sure if it would be interesting for everyone to watch. Would you watch? Yeah, of course you do, because you're here. <laughs> but, I mean... Almost... Almost an hour of some idiot... Painting, filling in pixels. Why? 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 What's so interesting about this? Oh my god. You know what we could talk about? Because I, I'm drained. I don't know anymore. I, I have been telling you guys a lot of things about me already. Um. I mean, nothing too personal, but you know, you know the kind of food I like. You also know how I eat that food, Kirby style. You know, uh, my taste in music. A lot of things you know about me. It's pretty scary, you know. Oh, I know something which will be a very short topic, but I recently started reading again. I still have a lot of books, bugs, bugs, books in my bookcase and in boxes on the attic. Um, those were books that I have collected over the years. I, I used to work for a magazine and they had like these readers uh, price question things how do you call them uh, where they would have to answer a question and then they could win books but we also had those reviewing um the, the review examples which were basically just the regular books like the full books but not for resale or retail so i got in contact with a lot of publishers uh, at the time and i uh, let's say i saved up some books so i decided to start reading again and i i'm doing it on my pace i used to i used to do it 
wrongly as in I need to read three books a month uh, and that stressed me out so right now I'm I'm taking my sweet sweet time my very very sweet time in reading uh, reading a book and I don't read daily I just read a couple of pages now and then but it's it's fine because I still remember what the story was uh, was like what, what the story is even so yeah I picked up reading again and and I must say even though it it's not a lot it's not a competition I used to I used to treat it like a competition and since I'm not doing that it feels more relaxing so I can actually enjoy the book in my own pace again and I, I won't say I'm a, I'm a slow reader it's just that my interest has shifted a lot so I'm glad that I was able to, to pick up a book again I'm reading well it's in Dutch so it's probably not the same title but I'm, I'm reading the green scarabee or the green scarab I don't know how you want to call it uh, and it's a book about it's in the uh, late 70s early 70s I believe it's about an archaeologist it's not an archaeologist it's 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 um, it's a guy that gets hired now there are several people what am I talking about it's about a guy that gets hired to to move Abu Simbel and this is this is a true story that actually happened in I, I believe it was uh, the Aswan Dam Egypt decided to to build a dam the Aswan Dam uh, which meant that they got a you know a, a, a lake a dam lake how do you call it and where the lake would be there was a temple complex called Abu Simbel three statues of uh, Pharaoh Ramses and uh, a temple complex which were all cut out of the mountain so it wasn't built it was a temple that was cut out of a mountain and they had to move that they actually did that they cut it in pieces and they moved the entire temple um, to a higher place you can still visit the Abu Simbel nowadays and the architect that's the word I was looking for um, I'm not sure if it's the actual architect probably not but one of the characters in the book is, is the architect and he finds the mummy of one of the wives of King Ramses II And obviously, there's also a female there there's, who is a doctor, I believe, in or a nurse in the in the hospital of Abu Simbel, and they fall, fell in love. But there's also some su supernatural stuff going on. I mean, basically, she thinks she is the former queen, the mummy and weird stuff happens it's not a i mean it's not a best-selling book but i like it i like the light-heartedness of the story there's there's stuff happening and it's good and it's not a cheap action novel either i mean there hasn't been a lot of action in the book but I mean, I like the story. I like Egypt. I like ancient Egypt. So I got intrigued by uh, by that plot. So yeah, picked up reading again, and that that filled some time, <laughs> didn't it? I still have a lot of books that I need to read, though. Uh, so there probably will be more more talky bits about 
books. Speaking of books, another thing that I haven't done in a while, and I know there's a certain person um, out there that really would like me to uh, to continue that, which I will, but I mean, all in time, I, I simply do not have the, the motivation to do it currently as it is. Uh, but that's to finish the hair play of Alice in Wonderland. And I, I planned in a lot more stories to do. There's so many books in the public domain that I I am in my head, I'm very motivated, but when it when it's time to actually do it, I can't. And that's the thing that I've been struggling with lately, even. That I think it's called depression. <laughs> um, yeah, there have been some uh, difficult years. And and they are still here. Nothing, nothing too bad. Nothing suicidal. Just some private stuff that I would like to keep private uh, about my personal life that is weighing pretty heavy on me so i think i also got um a form of depression again which is uh, recognizable because i i uh, i recognize it from my teenage years where i simply had no motivation to do certain things i'm not saying that i that i stopped caring about it. why am i talking about this right now anyways I'm not saying that I uh, that I'm giving up on everything, um, or that I stopped caring about everything, because I I never stopped caring about the things that are important to me. What did happen is that I cared less. I started caring less, and I I need my I need to, I need to um. I don't know how to say this in English even. I forgot the word. Doze? Yeah, probably. I need to doze my my energy. Uh, there are days, especially in the weekends, where I'm so tired that I uh, that I can't get out of bed even. I mean, I'm I'm dressed. I'm doing my stuff. I'm showered and and whatnot. Um, it also has to do with the fact that all my technology is near my bed <laughs> so yeah i i basically wanted to have a uh, a me day which which i get from my lovely daughter and wife uh, because they completely understand uh, and if i have a me day that means that i am going to either watch netflix but that doesn't happen a lot i mostly play games and yeah like i said since everything is in my bedroom i uh I, i'm stuck to my to my bed then how did i get here i don't know uh oh right i do know the hair play alice in wonderland yes like i said when when i think about it i'm like yes i need to finish that I, I need to not finish it in a way like hey then then it's done but finish it in a way that's that's like we have more chapters to do and i like doing it and i know that there's people that really enjoy those videos videos they're not even videos they're just images where i read a book um, but like I said, I don't, I find it hard to, to come up with some motivation to do that as it is right now. I'm also tuning down on the channel, as you might've noticed, I am tuning down on schedules. I am tuning down on basically what I what I call stressing me out because I was not treating it like like work work but it was not far from it I told myself 
I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to have videos scheduled in. And I am a workaholic. So if I do it, I, I do it. I had four to five weeks of videos, videos, videos scheduled in. And then I reached a point where I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm highly motivated to do stuff, but I can't because everything I'm going to make right now will be released in two months. So you know what? Better not do it. So I started a game and every time I started the game, I was, I was telling myself, you should stop because this, you should record this game instead. I tuned down that drift a lot i started caring less about youtube in that matter i still care a lot about about my channel and about what i've achieved with the channel um i mean we talked about the discord that's highly motivating but I gave up on trying to schedule a lot of videos in there. I, the magic is gone. I'd rather play a game right now as I am right now, edit it tomorrow because I, I don't want to record and edit in one sitting. So edit it tomorrow, release it tomorrow and then go on to the next video. And if you miss a day, that's fine. If you miss two days, wait, where's my mouse? That's fine. If you miss three days, or four, or five, or two weeks, that's fine. It's not gonna happen, <laughs> I know, but it's fine. But I was stressing myself out so much because I was struggling finding balance in between putting out as much videos as possible because like I said, I'm a workaholic. I, I wanted to push out as many videos as possible because I have a huge backlog that I need to finish with a lot, lots of awesome games that that I can play and release. So I have been struggling with that because on the opposite side, there's people telling, hey, you know what? You should not release more in one video a day because people can't watch them. So every day I was, I was fighting myself with the motivation to record and telling myself not to because I would end up with the backlog of a gazillion videos again. And what's wrong with having a backlog with so many videos? It's very demotivating to see 20 videos waiting for you to be edited. And basically you don't want to anymore. You don't want to edit them anymore because they're old. They were recorded two months ago. It's not even relevant anymore. Yet yeah, those were the thoughts that I had when uh, when I saw those videos. So I decided to clean up the backlog. It's not really cleaned up yet, though, because and and I'm not talking about the backlog of games that I want to play. I'm talking about the videos that have been recorded. I think there's I think. 25 videos still recorded waiting to be edited and you can say 25 that's a lot i'm like that's that's nothing that's nothing compared to what i had lying i i at one time i had i think i had about 60 videos ready that just needed to be edited and scheduled in but if i started scheduling them in in the way that was okay for YouTube, it would take me at least two years to get through the series. So I would lock myself 
I would lock a certain time or a certain day for two years. And that made me very unhappy because that also demotivated playing certain games. So I decided to let let all of that go. Uh, basically, I went back to where I started. Record a game. If it's ready, publish it. If there's already a video being published that day, make sure that there's some time in between. And don't think about if people can watch it or not. Some people don't even want to watch everything, which is fine. I'm not saying that it's not fine, but I need need it to stop worrying about the schedule stuff because it was driving me insane. So here we are. This, um, I mean, it also happened with this game. Uh, like I said before, I recorded it and like really weeks later, I released it. I, I'm planning on recording this very, very soonish. Uh, within the next couple of days, even. Mind you, I'm planning. Also, completely depends on if nothing comes in between. If I actually have the time to do it. Um, but yeah, I won't. I won't want to wait weeks i just want to release videos and um if they don't get views it's fine at least i i worked on it for myself i played the game i experienced the game again for myself again or maybe for the first time and that's that's what should matter that's what should matter most. There's some 11s there. We are nearing the end of this art piece. I like the little hippo. It's been a long talk. It's been a, a lot of things that I've said, which also means that I will not be recording the next level very soon. I thought there were 15. Boy, I was wrong. And even worse, there's at least three more coloring games with probably equally as much levels. So I think I may have a little problem there. <laughs> we will not be done after level 15. No siree, we will continue. I mean, how many dots were there? Six? And the last one only had five? So that's five times 15? That's a lot, I don't even want to count. That is a lot. It scares me. And I only found it out right now when playing, when playing this one, when playing level 11. I have done 11 pieces before I found out that there's a lot more. Oh my god, but they're not they're not all that big, I noticed. If you move to a uh, to the next dot, it starts with a small piece again. I'm quite happy about that, but we still have four bits of art to go here and these are getting bigger and i'm pretty sure that in in world two let's call it world two the ones that will be um, further away so like the level 215 will be the biggest again there but hey i started this journey <laughs> i like the journey but yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a long ride. 
So I'm still happy that you guys are willing to join me on this trip. I think we are, I don't even know how long I have been drawing. I've been drawing this image. I will find out after the recording, after I say goodbye and close down. But man, has it been long. And I really, I really exhausted my conversation topics right now. I, I don't know what to talk about next time. I don't. Maybe we should talk about childhood cartoons. Oh man, I remember now Nayuki told me, oh yes, he said, I have a topic for you to discuss we can do that next time it's not it's not a uh, it's not a long story uh, but it's the origin story of how i got named poofy because i didn't name myself poofy oh no the name was bestowed on me by the gods it's not even my real name so I don't think my parents named me that. No, it has a backstory. It's not that long though. Uh, but there is a backstory. So I can enlighten you guys with that next time. Because we are nearing the end of this piece here. Oop. And there's only some fives. Hey, we missed the 22. Where's the 22? Oh dear, now I need to check everything, don't I? Where did we miss the 22? Can we see it on, on the map? Oh my god, this is horrible. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack. Oh, there it is. Nice. Hippopotamus. Oh, wow. Very good. So that's another one done. I'm happy. I hope you are happy. And I will see you next time.